Hi everybody, today I'm in Bristol. Something that's very popular here is the street art scene. Apparently a Banksy is from here. I'm going to be your tour guide today. If you would define street art, how would you define it? Oh, okay, that's a good question. For me, it would be pretty basic definition, just art that's on the streets. It's exactly that's that. It. Is it true that Banksy is from Bristol? He is. So Banksy is anonymous, but we know he's from Bristol because he said it himself when he made an interview. Uh, and we are lucky to have this piece from Banksy just here. So this piece has been made in 1997, so it's already 21 years old, which is a really long life for a piece of street art. So let's move a bit further. There is a lot of street art in the area, so we have a lot of pieces to see around. Here it's a club called Lakota, and we have the chance here to have a lot of local artists that have painted together, so that's why we have a lot of different styles here. Um, and basically all the artists that painted on this wall, most of them are started in the 80s and 90s, so they are quite old school uh, artists. Yeah. Let's move on. Let's go. So here we have two pieces. That's an artist called Sepper just here. I really like this one. It's a really good one, yeah. Okay, I really like this piece. It's probably my favorite one so far. I just like the way the guy looks. Like, it's kind of funny. It's not very, it's not realistic in that sense. It's not like a, a portrait of someone. But I don't know, it just makes me smile. I like this one. When you see a piece of street art and you like it, take a picture before it disappears. Yep. The street art is meant to disappear one day. It's kind of nice but sad at the same time, you know? Exactly. Like... So this one here, it's an artist called Aspire. He's from Bristol as well, but he's quite famous, so he travels a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, he's always trying to represent birds that are disappearing more and more. He's trying to make them immortal before they totally disappear. So aesthetically, right. it's interesting because it's really realistic. But he's done this freehand then, just to That's that freehand, stuff. yeah. That's insane. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so if you check here, so here basically the artist is painting with acrylic paint on top of a shrink gum that was already on the floor. Right. And because he didn't put the shrink gum himself, what he's doing is purely legal. So his name yeah. is Ben Wilson and he's based in London. You can find a lot of his work in London. That's really cool. So here we have this beautiful wall here. It looks really cool, it's like a night sky. Uh, there is a lot of things to see in Bristol, so if you have the occasion, just walk around. But for now, we are going to stop here today, so yeah. I hope you like the tour. Yeah, it was brilliant. And Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Okay, now we're gonna go to my spray session. It's my first time doing spray session ever, so I'm very excited. We'll see if there's an artist within me. Should be around here. So, welcome to your spray session. Today we are going to spray one of these eight stencils. Um, before we do that, we're going to do a practice stencil here. Because we're working indoors, we're gonna take some water-based paint. All right, cool. There you go, I'm gonna have Should a go. Should I put on my mask then? Yeah, that's... Always good for some while at least. Yeah. Wait, am I printing it up? Is mine upside down now? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. oh. Right. Okay, first time. So you don't need to shake them. I just thought it was kind of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so keep a bit of a distance. You want to keep 20 centimeters between your paper and your can. Oh, right. Yeah. Good. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't need to do that, but I like doing it. <laughs> really tempting though. Yeah, okay. I think I'm getting the hang of it. At least now I know the basics. Exactly. Now you can choose. Now I can choose. I do really... I wanted to do this Banksy one just for Bristol, but I like this black beard on the bike. I think I'll take this one. 
Just take it off? Yeah. Whoops. Um, yeah. So, Stewie, is this a famous... Yeah, artist? he's also an artist from Bristol. Oh, it's like eating with chopsticks. Uh, you know what, now I know. We're gonna give him a multicolored coat, like the ones that we saw at the market. It's quite, it's quite tricky, like, pressing down the different parts at the same time. You press this one down and this one sticks out. Yeah, I heard you can hold up to like five sticks in your hand, but I'm not oh, sure wow. how you do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like struggling with these, dude. I can help you if you want more sticks on your Oh, right, yeah, that'd be great. So, can you tell me about the history of stencil art? Uh, yeah, the first stencil street artist recognized is a French street artist from Paris, Black Laurent. He started painting in the 80s. He was doing little rats everywhere. Rats? Yeah. But then before the street art use of stencil, you would have even cavemen doing stencils just using their hand on the, you know, on the walls of the cave. Yeah, so it dates back even to prehistoric times. Exactly. Turquoise. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. That's not half bad. How does it look? That's cool. I think that's pretty cool actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Ta-da! I'm quite pleased with this. I think there is an artist inside me. It's been really fun exploring my own artistic side as well as seeing the different street art that Bristol has to offer. Do you like street art? Leave a comment below and the best comment can win this deck of Banksy playing cards. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the next episode when Maria is in Tokyo.